Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on increasing or decreasing an amount by a percentage using a calculator. So we've got this first problem here. A car costing £16,000 falls in value by 37% after a year. What is its new value? Now what we need to do is to work out what we need to multiply £16,000 by in order to reduce it by 37%. Because if something falls by 37%, we want to reduce it by 37%. Now, the way to do this is to think that 100% is equal to all of the value, yeah? So everything starts at 100%. Now, if it's 100% of its value originally, and it falls by 37%, what is its new percentage of its original amount? Well, 100% minus the 37% is equal to 63%. So the car has fallen to 63% of its value. And that means we want to find 63% of 16,000. Now we saw in a previous video how to do this. Remember we could just convert that percentage into a decimal. So 63% as a decimal is 0.63. The word of you can just replace with times and then we got this 16,000 here and then if I just do that on my calculator 0 0.63 multiplied by 16,000 is equal to 10,080 pounds. So the key points there start 100% change it by that percentage in this case we want to drop it by 37% so it ends up at 63% and then convert that percentage to a decimal. This is known, by the way, as a decimal multiplier because you're turning that percentage change into a decimal, as we did here. And it's called a multiplier because we're multiplying our amount by that decimal in order to find out what the value is after that percentage change. Let's do it for this second one. Sales in Frostums last month were 32,430. Sales increased by 6% this month. How many were sold this month? Now remember, everything starts at 100%. So it starts at 100% of its value. Now sales increased by 6%. So now we're up to 106%. So we want to find 106% of 32,430. And if you think about it, that's just going to slightly increase its value because 100% of 32,000 is its 32,000. So 106% is going to make that a little bit bigger, which is what we expect because if something increased by 6%, it's not that much of it. So as before, we need to turn that percentage into a decimal. So 106% as a decimal is 1.06. Just remember that we divide this by 100. The word of we can turn into times and then we got that value here i do that on my calculator we got 1.06 multiplied by 32,430 and that is equal to 34,375.8 and we don't really want a decimal if we're setting a whole number of things so we'd probably round that to 34,376